Blessing, blessing to all viewers and to all subscribers. Jamaica is griefing the death of a nine-year-old boy by the name of Gabriel King. What's are that? The boy and his mother were traveling in an Audi motor vehicle heading downtown Montego Bay sometime around 9 a.m., right? The mother slowed down the vehicle to maneuver, you know, a couple of potholes, you know, because you can't drive too hard in the potholes. So I don't know, she see the pothole and, you know, she was slow down, right? She was approached by two unknown assailants, right? The mother was chucked in her face, you know, and thumped her in her face, you know, pulled her from the vehicle. Then the attackers then drove off with the boy inside. The female then reported the incident to the police who launched on search immediately. The car was later found not too far from the incident, abandoned, with the young boy lifeless on the back seat with his throat slashed. The news shocked the nation knowing that this nine-year-old boy has a disorder, you know, related to brain development. Down syndrome. The attackers didn't care to see and to realize that this child had a Down syndrome. They didn't care. They just took his life. A lot of Jamaicans been reacting to this brutal killing. Entertainers such as Beanie Man, Bounty Killer, Conscience, Scatter. The entertainers are begging Jamaicans to wake up because this type of life is unacceptable. Bound to kill a post saying that one of the strength when police kill gunman and no men hear nor see no roadblock for the nine year old. When since we start murder kids and women, this I get out of hand. What one are we on? Somebody have to dead for one of us? When since Jamaican bad man, okay with them type of killing ya. Bound to kill not having it at all. Skeeter also react to this brutal killing post. I don't like people of this country. All we stand by and allow the very few bent on evil to continue succeeding and plunder the innocent. Remember, silence means consent. Everyone quiet until it reach their doorstep. And then you have those hypocrites who are friends and families of these vampires who continue to support them and encourage the wrongs for whatever reason. If you all think you are safe, don't worry, everyone time is coming when they will be at the mercy of these vampires begging for their lives. So to all viewers and subscribers, I can see that Scatter not having it at all. Scatter is telling Jamaicans to wake up, Scatter is telling the Jamaicans, listen, Start protecting these criminals. Start report. Start give out them location, etc. Basically, at that, you must tell Jamaicans for do your zeme. Andre Stefan also react to this brutal murder as well. Watch this live video with Andre Stefan reacting to this barbaric, brutal murder. Don't forget to hit that like button. You know, share the content. Don't forget to comment as well. And Jamaicans, we need to wake up. Throat was slashed, and at no point, no point has the government come out emphatically, categorically, and say mm. that is enough. Mm. Come on, man. You as people, you as people must realize that if somebody has joined your conversation. Who knows history? Who remembered history when the Roman Empire was to be defeated? How did the Roman Empire stood up? It was the 13th Legion. The 13th Legion, the forgotten people. Yes, I attended Waterford Primary School from grade 3 right up to grade 6. But it is the what? The organization called unity and that is what saved the roman empire for us to save jamaica we need to join forces forces in advocacy 
That is why it is called the United States, the United Emirates, the United this, the United Kingdom. Because it's not one, not two, not three. It is multiple voices being amplified under one voice. So when you're going to talk about, oh, the sprat, and don't you ever disrespect me and say to me, oh, I'm a sprat and I'm a descendant. That is discrimination. That is a hate crime. You must tolerate people as though people tolerate you, even though you bully us. I am one of the very few who respect to say I want to have a conversation for, with you from the LGBTQ community. How dare you? How dare you insult such a man? How dare you? How dare you insult my integrity to ask that I'm a part of a corruption? Had I been a part of the corruption, you, you for type, will never get the chance to speak because I, I have the abilities to shut down every voice around Andrew Holness. But I have not done that. When I see the skullduggery that they represent, when I see the corruption that they represent, do you think I am satisfied? Do you think I'm satisfied when I see labor rights are hungry, labor rights taken out of their job under Labor Party government? So I'm going to say to all of you tonight, I am not a part of a conversation about who is better than who and who is the messenger and who is carrying the better message. The message that we need now is sustainability, accountability. 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 We need transparency. Transparency. The young man had a mental health disability called Down syndrome, the little boy. He has not lived his life as yet. And we believe it is good to be scalling man's prat. When it's the same spot that I've exposed the things that you guys wanted to know about. <laughs>